I gotta get, I gotta do do my pickup quick. AJ's here. He stopped by. He's picking up some stuff for me. Special appearance. A S A P Zonk uh, in the house. But like, yeah, sitting there all day. So I told him I got some 3D O games. I told him I got some 3D O games today, and he's like, Oh, I gotta see him. <laughs> he come over. He's like, he's like digging through my boxes. I'm not even ready to do the pickup video. I gotta do. Uh, oh my god! This is all the good 3D O games. I think they're all the games. It's pretty much. He no, said. No, no, it's the good games. Well, I think it's a mix. It's some pornos. For no porn. Get out of here. Serious? You lying to me? All right. Are you, you gonna be here for this, or are you talking to somebody? I'll be here for this. Okay. All right. Let me zip my. Like I'm. Look, I'm struggling now. You're wondering what I'm doing. I'm trying to zip this stupid fanny pack. Okay. All right. What I spend today for everything. $210. Did I get anything amazing today? I mean, this is good, but anything that pays for everything, no. So, so forget that stuff. That'll be for the scummy resellers, so I'll do that in my next part. Um, but alright, I'm going to do the game and the stuff that AJ likes to look at. So check this, AJ. I got a box of 3DO. End of the day, right? I go to a sale. Obviously, nobody either knows or likes 3DO. Uh, no serious collector came. He had $5 a piece on it, so most people would have no clue what these things would be worth, right? Look at AJ. <laughs> I'm like talking to him. I should be texting him. So anyway, so people wouldn't know what this, these would be worth. I imagine these are worth at least twenty dollars and up. Am I correct on that? Yes. Okay. So the guy had them five bucks a piece. So I five bucks a piece. I would have just said, okay, I'll take them goodbye. Well, <laughs> I had to see what I have to do though. Like I, sh I share this with Daryl. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let Daryl sell this for me. So uh, oh, also everybody out there, could you give like a prayer or something for Daryl's dad? He's not really feeling very well. He's not doing very well. Uh, anyway. <sighs> And I actually told Daryl, he's like, oh, finally, some good news. Because I called Daryl and I said, Daryl, look, there's a bunch of 3DO games here. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to mess with them, right? You should have messed with them because you can make 40 No, bucks I, I would have bought, not 40 bucks, yes, maybe, they are. maybe some of them. Okay, no, let's go through them. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. That's why, well, he immediately was like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, try and get them for three bucks a piece. I'm like, okay. No, it's cheap. No offense, Daryl. <laughs> this is... Like, ro need this for is 60. Speed. Oh, is that what you're doing? Wait, wait, let's show it. Don't just go, this is 60. Uh, Street Fighter 2, and that's in the box complete or yes. loose? Need for Speed, Road and Track. Look at this one, Return Fire. You ever hear this one? No. Uh, a little need, beat up. Uh, actually, Anthony, Need for Speed 25. Okay. See, I figured they were all worth like 20 bucks. Look at this one, Twisted, the game show. That can't be worth too much. And oh my god, every time you buy a lot of games, every time you buy a lot of games, what is always in that lot of games, AJ? What? Uh, Fucking Madden. No. You want to laugh? What? That's a good Madden. Is it? Oh, great. Look, it says 3DO promo on it. What does that mean? Somebody wrote that. Dragon's Lair. Uh, hold on. Just hold down. This is worth 30. Wow. Yeah. Hear that, Daryl? 30 bucks. Money. This is garbage. This is the worth nothing. I knew it was going to be good. Uh, that's only I don't know, return, return fire. Return fire is 22. Not bad. Dragon's Lair. And that's, that's but that's money. complete in box. Yeah. That's all it is? $22? Yeah. Way of the Warrior. That looks like a pretty good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that that's the people who made Crash. Uh, oh, Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, Dragon's Dragon's Lair. Yeah. Is um 25. Not bad. Primal Rage. That's good. I'm looking them up as you do this. I know. Like he's like <laughs> clicking on Space Ace. Ever hear of that one? I'm looking that up. Uh, uh, for 3DL? You want me to slow yeah, down? Yeah, that's 42. Space Age yep. or Primal Rage? No, Space this one, to me, if I, if you said which one was going to be the most valuable, and I had to just blind guess. A primal Rage is another 50. No, not bad. But if I had to guess, you said to me, okay, which one out of all these games you think will be the most valuable? And I went through all of them, right? Way of the Warriors, 40. Way of the Warriors. What about the Captain Quasar? I don't know. I would make a dumb blind guess that that was going to be the most valuable out of I all of them. Gex is. Well, that's the last one I got, Gex. I got 12. So for 40 there. bucks. I, you didn't even let me finish telling how I negotiated with them. Right? So I'm like, I don't know exactly. I figure if they were 20 bucks a piece, I don't want to spend five because Daryl's going to cost them like $7 to ship or $6 to ship, um, which means I'm splitting 15 Not even. That is the most valuable. It is, right? I, that's what I would have bet. I would have made a dumb blind guess out of all of them, except maybe the Way of the Warrior. I might have thought that one was worth money too. And I would have said these two. Hold we're on. the least valuable. Well, I have to get a picture for Matt because Matt. <laughs> Matt Wait, Matt, let me do it this way. How do you want to do it? Like no, this? No. I know, like this, because Matt was like, "Oh, AJ, did, did he get anything good?" Are you gonna pretend you got it? No, I told him already. Oh, uh, okay. 
Oh that's my god, Anthony scored. That's insane. Matt's going to be enraged. Matt's going to be, enraged. <laughs> Matt's gonna be so mad. Sorry, Matt. And he and he probably went there, too. He just didn't get there. I didn't go to all the sales, you know. There was too many sales. You got, like, every good game. Well, I mean, what other ga games would have been left? How many games do they have like, for this country? people idiots? No, the guy, it's a guy. He don't care. And he was like, oh, so anyway, I didn't finish telling how I was negotiating. So I'm uh, like. Madden, 12 bucks. Oh, see, there you I go. I didn't think it was that much. Zero's worth money. Still, though. So you're saying there's probably about $200 worth of games here? Uh, let's see. 50, no, it's probably three fifty, four hundred. Oh, that's good. Then I only paid forty, so that's that's a good deal. That's All right, insane. let's go through the other games and shit. Then, since you're here. All right, this is what these games I got with the kid with the Pokemon card, right? So look, look at the price he had on these. This is the end of the day. Wait, look, oh, look, I got another one too. See? Look, these uh, Grand Theft Auto's fives are falling off the tree. But anyway, so look at it. He had like six dollars, six dollars. Uh, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, four dollars, five dollars, three, whatever. So anyway, he had all these games, and he had these prices on it, right? So I'm like, I pick out this game, and where is it? Because at these prices, I wasn't going to buy any of these. Which two? I think, no, it wasn't that one either. Left for Dead. I don't know. I picked I picked two games out, and he said he was going to give them to me cheaper. So then he was like, you know, I, I, it's the end of the day. I don't really care about this stuff. I would go much cheaper on stuff. I'm like, really? So there was two games I told him I'd give him eight dollars for. Right? It was this one, and I don't know one of the other ones here. The, maybe it was Portal, but How that's probably not. Black Ops Four. Black Ops Four. I don't know. Look it up. You tell me what it's worth, and I'll give you a good deal. Um, oh, it was these two. I want to trade this to GameStop. That's okay. Oh, that's it. for. Uh, I need to combine it with the other one to get thirteen bucks for it. Okay. Okay. So, what do you want to give me? Normally, I would sell it probably for four dollars, or three for ten, right? Yeah. So, you want to give me? Three bucks. <sighs> you can't give me four. You love me. Uh, do I really? Yes. <laughs> All right, three bucks. Okay. Three bucks. I was but wait, wait, wait. Let me do my today. pickup. You know, I was looking for that one today at the flea market. Serious? Market. Okay. Well, good. I'm going to make your pile over here, but I want to go through what I got. So anyway, the kids, I get, okay, he's, they're expensive. I go, look, would you go four piece on these? So I bought this one because he had seven on it. And this one, the Sonic Unleashed. How much is Sonic Unleashed? Is it only $4? I get mixed up. But then he was like, well, if you buy the rest of the games, I'll go cheap. I go, will you go a buck fifty a piece on the games? And he's like, yeah, fine. Didn't care. So I got Call of Duty. And you, which one did you want? You wanted uh, this one, right? This one? That's one you wanted? Yes. Okay, so I got Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty. These are not expensive. Even this one. This is like a four dollar game. I'm gonna put these in my four dollar three for ten. Call of Duty Ghost, Just Dance. But I have to look at them. Victoria. He's it's like some of the games, like this one and this one. He's like, here, you might as well just take these because I didn't even want them at a dollar fifty. Left for Dead, Deadliest Catch, Connect Adventures, Just Dance Four, Call of Duty Black Ops Two. So what are you combining it with? Uh, I have a combo pack. Okay. I got to go in the house. I'm going to give you that, that camera to screw around with. Hello 4, Portal 2, and Indiana Jones. All right. Um, I still have some more games over here, oh, but let's... Really yeah, let's do the ninjas. Uh, I'm in a hurry, so... Oh, now you're in a hurry. Yes. Okay. Oh, these are, a lot of these 15 turtles. bucks. I know they're not. I paid 15 for everything. This is from Spider-Man. This is the turtles. This is gargoyles. 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 The case is worth money alone. Yeah, it's probably worth 15 bucks, right? No, more than that. Yeah, but what am I going to get for I, I think, I think That's the, the king rat or something? That's, uh, I forgot. Turtle. No, what's their, what's their rat? The, their boss rat? Uh, Splinter? No, is that Splinter? Or Splinter the bad guy? Anyway, that's, this must be another gargoyle. Uh, I don't know. This is a trans fake Transformer. This is Kevin Costner from Waterworld. <laughs> Could be wrong. Uh, Captain America, Captain Earth. Oh, is it? Might be. Uh, turtle, skateboard. I found like nothing today, so. Uh, Wolverine. Yeah, because you were at the Meadowlands. Uh, turtle. Yeah, I never saw the Meadowlands guys. Spider Man. Yeah, AJ says don't go there. Batman, Spider Man. <sighs> turtle, 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 turtle accessory. So that's that, and the case is actually in good shape. What do you think I'll get for this case? Nah, you think so? 
I mean, at say at Columbus. Be like say at Columbus. What do I get? Okay, I'm gonna finish up the games and we'll look at the Pokemon cards and then I'll give you all the shit I gotta give you. Look, this is uh, these I got for a buck a piece. Grand Theft Auto, missing one of the discs, right? Uh, I paid a dollar for this. It's a good generic racing game. Paid a dollar for this. Probably not worth much. Paid a dollar for this. Is this worth four dollars or is it worth fifteen? Fifteen. Okay. I paid a dollar. Paid a dollar. And then there's Tony Hawk. But this had two games in it. Tony Hawk and Tony Hawk Underground 2. All right, let's go through. I'll show you the Pokemon card, and then I'll do everything else after you split. I'll just combine it into two videos. Yeah, this is CDs. All right, that's that. Do you want to look at these, or you, you, don't, you don't care? Here, I got you something. Yeah. Why? Because you're, you're cool. No, you know what? You should give us the number one fan. Joe likes this? No, Joe cool. Oh, okay, yeah. Joe. Joe, you want this? I'll give it to you. Uh, here, there's a bag. I paid $12, 12 for this box. It looks like garbage. The, uh, garbage. There's some uh, hollow ones in there. If the hollow ones are a buck a piece, right? Is that hollow or is that just... Yeah, there's hollow ones there. How dare you? Garbage. You're garbage. <laughs> Look, he's on the phone. All right, so you don't care to see these? You really don't care? No. All right. Dan. You know what I'll do? I'll show Dan. I'll go through the ones in the cards. I'll need it up. Okay, you're you. done, right? All right. Uh, I'll finish up with the rest of the video later. All right, let's 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 hook you up. All right, this is part two of what's going to be part three uh, video of what I got today. Again, I spent two hundred twenty dollars. I don't believe I got anything of an insanely immensely uh, amount of value. Uh, best things are those games, the three D O <clears throat> under there. They're going to Daryl. I'm not doing any conventions or anything, so there's no place I, I can really list them. Um, and it's so much work, you know, I guess with Daryl. That's why I was being cheap with the guy. Uh, but you know what? It's the end of the day. I mean, I didn't get him first thing. There weren't other people breathing down my back wanting to buy him off me. Maybe if I had him at the Metal Lines, they would have went. But he wasn't at the Metal Lines. He didn't pay $100 to be there. He was at his, like, yard sale where everybody can be cheap. Whatever, you know, I'm taking too much time. So. All right, I already showed all the games with AJ. AJ had to split. Um, what's next? All right, I'm just going to go through this stuff, and I'll do the jewelry the last. That's just the way it's working out. Um, Marie needed a basket. <sighs> Got some shoes for the kids. Skechers Yoga Foam. Paid 15 bucks for these, but, you know, it's a good deal. The kid's going to wear it. I bought these uh, two a piece, but they're all banged up, so I offered the lady five. She said, fine. Uh, let me put on my really good glasses because they're sterling. That's why I bought them. Otherwise, I would never buy them. She actually had some that were pewter. That were also two bucks a piece. And she's like, yeah, they're all sterling. But, you know, I'm like, these don't look like sterling. Um, now, the funny thing about these coasters, so I didn't buy them. The funny thing about these coasters, like you can see, here's some dents here. Each one has dents. There's another dent there. So nobody's going to buy them as pristine. Uh, they would buy them at best to use. But this says Franklin Wright and Company Sterling Pat Pending, right? Why did I buy these? Because uh, they don't sell. They don't, nobody will give you any money for them, right? I'll tell you why I bought them. And, and if you're interested... I'm going to buy miscellaneous pieces of sterling like this that are dent up, ding, banged up, and I'm going to uh, basically rip all the silver apart, bash them up, uh, and then take that silver and weigh it, and I'm going to let you know how much silver there is on the outside of this particular uh, coaster. And this would pretty much be standard for most of them. You know, whatever I rip off of this, that would be the am amount, and then I'm going to do it for four, right? Because uh, why well, save the other three? Who cares? Uh, they're not going to buy it anyway. They want to give me a couple of bucks. You know, oh, there's hardly any silver there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip it off, and this way you'll be able to know how much silver. I'm going to make a separate video, a separate time, not today, too busy. Um, you'll know how much silver comes off of these. Uh, and if it say it's like, uh, I don't know, it's not going to be an ounce. But whatever it is, you'll be able to multiply that by whatever the value of silver is on that particular day, and you'll know whether they're worth buying or not, especially with, if they're all bashed up. Okay, that's that. That explains that. Uh, Daryl, I'm giving this to you. It's uh, This was like $3, and then I had to round it up to 5 So I got some goofy stuff over there. I'll show you later. Um, oh, you know what? I, I, right after this, I'll do the Pokemon cards, and I'll do the CDs. Because, Dan, I want you to see the Pokemon cards. I'm not going to show you every single one. I'll show you the sleeves, and I got a bunch loose, too. Only $12 for all of them. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, um, 
Here's a Panasonic. It's like a portable cassette player, but this thing is freaking heavy. So it's, it might be a radio too. No, it's a dual sensor mic. It's probably, you can also, oh yeah, it's got, you can record your voice. Probably has a, a space for that. I paid $3, Daryl. If this works, oh, and I got the guy to give me um, a, a tape so you could listen to it and sh see if it works too. If it works uh, and it's worth, say, like 30 bucks or something like that, put it on eBay. You know, um, we'll make, we'll share the money. You know, I don't have to take that to the flea market. I don't even like selling stupid stuff like that. Let me do the Pokemon cards and then I'll uh, just keep going until I finish everything except for the records. All right. Uh, all of these Pokemon cards, whatever's in this bag, Pokemon cards, there's a bunch of hollows here, right? The kid was selling them like 25 cards for a dollar, right? But it was the end of the day. Nobody bought any. You know, they just want to buy it all. So I'm like, well, how much you want for it, for all of it? I was expecting the kid to say like 20 or 30 bucks, and I probably would have, I probably would have uh, went for it, you know. But the kid goes, I guess, I don't know, 10, 11, maybe 12 dollars, which is weird because he started low and was working his way up. People do that. The strangest thing, you're supposed to start high and then work your way down when you're negotiating. So he said 10, 11, 12. So I, I see all these cards and it's a kid. So I'm like, if that's all he wants, I said, listen, I'll give you 12 bucks, all right? And also the, some of the games that I had with him, I had told him, after he, after he told me he would give me all the, car, uh, all the games for a buck fifty a piece, I said, look, I already said I would give you $4 a piece for, for two of the games, because those are the only two I took at $4 a piece. Um, so I gave it to him because it's a kid, you know? Um, maybe I'm, maybe, you know, I'm part of that group, the scummy resellers, but that's more of a fun group. I'm not really that scummy. Anyway, so all of these cards, Dan, you're, you're going to be the one to go through them. But here, here's some of the ones in sleeves. There's definitely hollow cards here. All right. I don't want to make this really long, but there, there's hollows there. There's at least a hollow there. Uh, there's a hollow, hollow. I sound like some, I'm doing some kind of Hawaiian greeting. Hello. Uh more so here you're getting the sense that there's a lot of cards here for $12 uh, I would I really thought the kid was gonna say anywhere from 20 to 40 you know and he didn't so what do you think Dan money to be made I think so AJ looks at it goes oh there's no big deal I'm like what you look he looked at one card on the top he goes I had the Marines that they go there's no big deal it's garbage I'm like get out of here Anyway, <laughs> that's AJ. Uh, here, see, more. Yeah, Dan, I'm sorry. I just can't take too long. I'm really busy today. But you're getting the sense. And look, look, there's like this many, okay? So there's really no need for me to go through all of these or take a long time. Um, I'm sure they're not anything like first issue. The kid was too young, you know? The kid looked like he was... See, but there's, there's a hollow. Hollow sensor holographic or hologram and these are these are shiny too shiny on the outside it's like weird all right okay dan uh you get the sense all right let me uh march on i don't have a lot of time today so you know i just i gotta do this quick i'm sorry uh this is for my kid she's going to japan she's going uh that's her first trip out of the country and uh, she's gonna have a good time here's a cologne i got adidas it was a dollar I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't know if they still make it. But for a dollar, who cares, you know? Um, my wife got some books. She likes to read. Here's a shirt I got for myself. Look how new that is, right? Um, let me show this, and then I'll show the CDs and records. This, I believe it's, this is Desmond. Uh, and people say, oh, that's Deposé, but that's okay. Me. Deposé, D-E-P-O-S-E, that means maiden, because it usually will say Deposé Italy. If it says that, that does, that's not a person's name. Deposé means maiden. But this one, I can't remember. I, th I think it's like Desmond or something like that. I've had cups like this. They sell for $30, $40. It was $2. I just gave the guy the $2. This was actually a guy. Uh, this is a flea market dude. And all of stuff was priced like right for flea market prices. It wasn't overpriced um, for someone who would want it or whatever. But for someone like me, there was nothing special. So I'm like, no, you know, but that he underpriced because he didn't know what it was. It didn't say anything on it. Uh, I know what it is I, uh, since I can't remember the name, but I think I'm going to get like, I'm going to put it on eBay for like between 30 or $40, I think. I think that's the reason we want that. All right. Uh, what else? All right. Let me do the rec. Oh, you know what? This is nonsense. Let me just get this out of the way. Okay. When we were going home, there was a free box and they had all these nice wooden hangers. I'm not going to sell these. I'm going to keep this. And this wood bowl was in there for a dollar two. And this is teak wood. 
That's a really nice bowl, a dollar. Of course, nobody buys this stuff, but for a dollar, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to Columbus and this BS to Columbus, and I'll try and sell it. If they don't buy it, I'll throw it away. I'll just, I'll, you know, I didn't pay anything for it. This is part of the guy that I got the uh, cassette uh, thing from. I was like, he didn't have any change, so I said, all right, let me see if I can make it up to $5. Here's an old oil can. It says one quart. Uh, I think it says... Whatever. This is like, this should be an oil can. I'm not really sure what this is worth, but it was basically less than a dollar. So you could see the oil in the bottom. I think it's probably worth at least five bucks. That's Columbus. These are free. I have no clue. Erland, and I guess these are for hockey, right? Um, so they're free. I was like, oh, you know, sports stuff is expensive. I'll just take it. I'll try and sell it. And then uh, I, this was part of the thing where I had to run up to five bucks. So I took a piece of jewelry. I took three things. So I owed them two dollars. I got this ball peen hammer. This is probably worth two to five dollars at uh, Columbus. So I'm like, it's almost free. I'll just take it. Oh, I also got these buckets. I got three buckets. Dollar fifty a piece. All right. Jewelry comes after this. I got a big bag of good jewelry. Nothing too special, unfortunately. I'll do the records. I paid a buck a piece for these records. Nothing really too good. Every time I saw records today, I was there too late. They were cherry picked. Uh, Grease, Shanana. Uh, Shanana is the one that had that Bowser guy. I was like, hey, no, actually, I'm doing, uh, what am I doing? I'm doing, uh, the Blues Brothers. No, Shanana was a kind of 50s tribute band. They did 50s music. One of the guys was named Bowser, and he'd be like, boom, 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 like that. Bachman Turner Overdrive 2, Super Tramp, dollar piece. I paid for these. Red Roadwork, Edgar Winters. I got to the sale, and they're like, oh, yeah, this kid came. He paid like 85. Uh, he bought 85 things. We gave him a good deal. You know, he bought all the records. This one. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I never heard of this. Nothing is sacred. The gods. I'm going to put that to the side. Ario Speedwagon. The Beach Boys. Them dudes is hairy. Uh, Ted Nugent, Double Live. These are the ones I'm going to check to see if they were... Actually, I'll just check them all to see if they're worth $10. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Night Moves. I don't know about records just yet. I mean, I know CDs. I know what kind of music people like, but I don't know how much people are willing to spend on records. So I try not to spend more than a buck or two a piece, and I usually stick to rock or rockish or very popular music. Anyway, the ones that are worth, like, say, $12 or so or less... I'm just going to take them to flea markets and I'm going to go like $4 free for 10 because, you know, if you do all the work, put them on eBay, shipping, blah, 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 blah. It's not worth my trouble, right? Uh, the ones that are worth like, say, 30 say, 25 and up, I'm going to take them to uh, events and I'm going to make those uh, $10, 3 for 25 something like that. Okay. This stack of CDs, I believe I paid a quarter piece. So there may not be anything too amazing here, but Johnny, wait a minute. Yeah, a quarter piece. Johnny Cash, Decade. Bob, actually, they were pretty good for a quarter, right? Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. Um, Neil. Neil Young. Why can't I read that? Elvis. Hip Hop. Hooray. Ho. Uh, Johnny Cash. John Lennon. Legend. Lou Reed. Johnny Cash and Quentin. Snapped. Snap. Attack. Um, I, I, where I grew up. We listen to kind of hip hop and, and um, R and B music sometimes. John Cougar, Mellencamp. So I'm putting those to the side. I don't know if you, anybody remembers a Snap, but I do. Glenn Campbell, my best. So that's probably like the best of Mellencamp, <sighs> Meatloaf. I'm, it's so hot out here. I'm dripping sweat. Bob Dylan at Budokan. I want to take that one. Eagles, Hell Freeze Over, and U2. I don't think there's anything special there. These CDs I normally sell uh, four dollars three for ten. Fuel, sticks, best of. These I paid a buck a piece for. Godsmack, The Curse. I want to check that one. Uh, fuel, Queen's Right. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have allergies. Every once in a while, I'll just sneeze out of nowhere. Journey Greatest Hits, Green Day, Dookie, Van Halen, best of. Creed, not Apollo Creed, just Creed. Jethro Tull, Masters, Pod. The fundamental elements of South Town. I don't know that one. I wasn't familiar, but it looked interesting. Uh, the Rascals, Sinatra, Greatest, Dean Martin, Barry Manilow, if you're a fan of uh, Rosemary Clooney, The Plans. Oh, Plans, Death Cab for Cutie. I don't really like. 
I, I got nothing against them, but um, they're, they were popular. So the Spinners, James Taylor, Four Seasons Hits, Impressions Greatest Hits, Patti Smythe. She had one song, I think it was Goodbye to You. Is this a best of? Nah. All right. Whatever. Uh, people might remember her. And a uh, foreigner. The Fray, How to Save a Life. Oh, no. Whatever. OJ's Greatest Hits. Bob Seeger. Sly and the Family Stone. Springsteen. Uh, Anthology of the Temptations. Four Tops. Anthology Four Tops. Cool and the Gang Collection. And the Very Best of the Spinners. Uh, you know what? I think that's everything. Jewelry next. All right, it's jewelry time, jewelry time. For all the people like jewelry, it's jewelry time, jewelry time. <laughs> all right, that's me screwing around with my original uh, song, It's Jewelry Time. Uh, and I managed to find a watch for which to do it. Anyway, it's a uh, hot... What the hell was that? I was doing a jewelry time song. <laughs> Marie's yelling at me from the window. You know that clock pendant thing you had? What? The, the clock uh, pendant that I found. So I held it up and I'm like, it's jewelry time, jewelry time. For all the people like jewelry, it's jewelry time, jewelry time. And, and I'm just making the thing dance around on my fingers. I did it the once and that's enough. Anyway, it's hot and I'm sweaty like spaghetti. I'm doing poetry now. <laughs> Marie's laughing at me from the bathroom window. Um, <laughs> anyway, okay, here's the jewelry we got. You want to come out or no? Marie. Okay. I'm on my own. We didn't really get anything very good. What? Spaghetti sweat. Spaghetti sweaty. Sweaty spaghetti rhymes. It's good enough. Marinetti. What else rhymes with sweaty? Forgetty. Uh, I had nothing. Getty. Getty gas. Beats me. All right, anyway. I actually, there's sweat dripping in my eyes, and it's freaking blinding me. It's very hot out, so I'm going to just rush through this stuff. I think I spent enough time goofing off. Um, nothing good. Nothing very special. Uh, nothing valuable. And nothing we really paid a lot for today. Uh, but I'm going to go through it anyway. Because why not? As soon as I... I'm fighting wind. The elements. Okay. Alright. What did we get? No uh, random order. These are probably ivory earrings. Uh, these are hard for us to sell, you know. But they have 14 karat gold. Um, what do you call it? The part that goes through your ears. So they weren't expensive. I believe there were maybe a couple of bucks. These look like like uh, pearl earrings, not really good ones. This, Marie's gonna use this for a heavier pendant. It has a silver clasp. Um, mm -hmm. These, you know, back in the day, you would be able to sell these for $30, $50. Now, whatever you can get uh, if you're willing to sell them. I don't know if she'll keep them, what she's going to do, whatever. You know, you're not supposed to be selling ivory. Unless it's vintage, but, you know, nobody likes you selling it anyway. Um, these are silver. She'll probably sell these for like $8 to $12 at most. These are silver. These she thought could have been like uh, gold, like the 8 uh, me sneezing again. Allergies, I hate you. Um, these are 950 silver. She thought that might have been 825 gold. Uh, this looks like it's silver. It says something on the inside. Looks like PEP sterling. I don't know. She probably get like 10. Oh, uh, here's some little. Uh, I guess those are sterling earrings. She'll probably get like five to eight for those this ring she'll probably get eight to twelve uh she got some i don't know she got some alex and annie stuff this might have been yeah this is alex and annie i don't know she paid a dollar she gets like three to five dollars uh these are brighton clover earrings uh brighton doesn't sell for a lot for us but it is very expensive in the whole this is an enamel pin uh flowers this stuff she obviously did not pay a lot for because she'll probably sell this like maybe three to, to eight um, this is another one of those uh, house pins by Lucinda. The thing about uh, the house pins by Lucinda is nobody buys them at the flea markets, right? And on, uh, I'm trying to not be an issue. I'm getting the sun, but not blowed up. And they don't sell for a lot on eBay. They're really not worth listing. But you can find them fairly often enough. And if you get, like, say, like five of them, 
anywhere from three to about five for small lots. Then they sell for about four or five a piece in the lot. So you can do a lot of like three for 15 or, you know, five for 20 or, or somewhere in that range, you know. Um, this was just a cool enamel kind of locket. See, it's got a, a painted enamel flower. I think she paid three dollars. This she'll probably sell for like ten, maybe fifteen, at the most. I'm not sure why she bought this. It's obviously not sterling. It's a clamper. It's got a little bit of scuffiness on it. Uh, I don't see a name. She must have just liked it. Um, these are amber. I guess they're in silver. They were only a dollar. I'm assuming she'll sell these in a ten dollar range. Uh, these are pearls. She's not going to get a lot for these. These are hard to sell, and it's not even a silver clasp or anything. It's just uh, a metal. So she'll probably sell that for, um, I don't know, probably 15-ish. Uh, this is a sterling chain. <coughs> Vermeer. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Luna Norte. So maybe this isn't sterling, but it's a little amethyst. Um, must have been cheap. This probably isn't sterling. Maybe it's Brighton. She said she got some Brighton today. But I don't see any maker on it. So even if they're just, maybe if she paid even a dollar for these, it's like heart. You know, it's kind of got that Tiffany kind of feel to it. I'll, but I mean, it's not Tiffany. But it's kind of nice, heavy looking, chunky chain. I bet you, you know what, I got a teeny little magnet in my pocket. Let's see what happens. When I, uh, we're doing an experiment now. I got this teeny little, it's a super magnet. And it fits in my pocket. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. It's, there, it's hidden in my keys. See it? See that little square thing right where, right there? See that? I don't know if it's in focus. But right where this finger's bouncing up and down. Alright, let's do an experiment. This is good. Every once in a while I'll pop it out. And Yeah, see? Okay. So that's face. And yeah, see? Okay. There you go. You learned something. That's how you tell when something's not silver or gold if it jumps to the magnet. Uh, who's this made by? Maybe this is, yeah, that's that B, so that must be Brighton. And it's just a nice little butterfly enamel looking thing. This, this is actually pretty cool. This, this is kind of like uh, glass. And it has like a sea glass look to it. Like a, like a what do you call it? Um, a satin feel to it. And, that's, uh, and it's got a little tag, so who makes this? Uh, I don't know. It's really small. I can't. I can't really read it. I'm gonna try one more time. I think it says sea glass. Okay. Uh, I bought this, or I found this for her. This is like three dollars, and this is kind of cool. This I featured in my "It's Jewelry Time" song. All the people who like jewelry. Remember that song? I did it before. Marie said, "Ever do it again?" It went like this. It's jewelry time, jewelry time. For all the people like jewelry, it's jewelry time. <laughs> all right. Uh, this I bought to round out. So I, so something cost $3. The guy didn't have any change. I said, I'll find some stuff that'll total $5. I get this necklace. I took a ball peen hammer and I took an oil can. And he said, okay, give me $5. That's fine. Um, this is just jade, like a jade. If we show it to our Asian friend, he'll go, that's not jade, that's jade stone, you know, so whatever. Either it's jade or jade stone, but it's it's nice card. Marie doesn't sell it for a lot, a lot of money. This is kind of cool. Uh, it was in a box that said a designer name, but it's not a designer name, but it's a question mark pen. See? Pretty cool. As you can see, uh, I'm not going, this is gold, this is silver, this is like a uh, designer, this is Gucci. I'm not doing any of that stuff today. Uh... Just a crucifix. Resells these, uh, and I sold one. I I don't think she sells it for more than ten dollars. You know, um, the sterling one she usually puts online because everybody wants them, but they want to give you like five dollars for them or some ridiculously low price. And I can't, even, you know, even if I get it for that much, it's like why should I give it to you? Oh, I gotta make money. I got a lot of bills. Uh, this is just cool. This is like um, one of the things I think I've uh, either she saw or I saw. Um, it's just a, a piece, you know, piece. Mike doesn't. Everyone give it a chance, you know. Um, this an amber necklace, and then all this stuff was part of a two. No, yeah, all this stuff is in a two dollar bag. 
and I think I bought it with that. So that was two dollars, and the guy was like, eh, "Just give me two dollars for the bag." So I was like, "Fine," because even though it has Mardi Gras beads, you know the, what these are for, like guys and girls, take your top off, whatever. Uh, probably more. And this, and this is nonsense, you know. And th but this is kind of nice. It's just an enamel buckle bracelet. I don't see anybody's name on it. It has like rhinestones. I don't see any missing. So even though it had that nonsense and this no big deal sense stuff and this needs a repair she's gonna have to get a little brass ring if she wants to bother repairing it and it's plastic you know I don't even know if it's a big deal free hair I'm like a detective um, I believe the person who owned this was a brunette because the hair if I give that to Marie and there's hair on it she'll be like oh. it'll gross her out um, so I'll put that there um, and this is just nonsense earrings, you know, whatever. But this ring was silver, and I didn't know this ring was in the bag. Not that it's worth a lot, you know. You know, she said it's silver. It doesn't even look like silver. See, there's a mark there. It says 925. Let's do the magnet test again. Is it silver? Are they lying? Nope, doesn't go to my magnet. Okay, I bet it's silver. Oh, and uh, but the reason I bought the whole bag for two bucks was because there was this uh, freshwater pearl bracelet in there. And I don't even think this is silver. It's not really hallmarked. And I, people are funny. They're always like, that's costume jewelry. There's nothing in there but costume jewelry. It's like, I'm looking for gold. And I am, but whatever. They kind of know it, but they're trying to tell you that there's nothing in there. But that's nice, right? I don't care. It doesn't have to be gold. Anyway, that's everything I got today, uh, Saturday. I'm so busy on Saturdays. I got to run inside and do a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to make my shout outs quick. Nas, Nostalgic, uh, Bargain Barons. Check them out. They're doing really well. They finally got monetized. So watch their videos and make some money. Uh, ASAP Zonk. He needs more subscribers, like 900, before he can get monetized. Video gamer Daryl, he's actually was able to apply for monetization again. So as long as he doesn't do any really bad videos, he should be all right. Uh, I, my other YouTube channel, Scummy Resellers, check that out because everywhere I went today, I took my camera and I held it like this. And I recorded live footage of me shopping. So if you like that kind of stuff, go to that channel. The video that I'm going to put up probably later tonight or tomorrow will have uh, live footage of me hunting and not really aiming it at people but just aiming at the stuff uh, scummy resellers I already did them uh, chase after the right price uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to angry Steve I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, uh, nevermore antiques living the good life uh, blue bus Dave um, uh, picking for treasures with Charmin uh, okay that, I think that's everybody anyway I'm out of here I gotta go do stuff I'm getting ready for tomorrow. If you want to catch me, I'll be at the Nutley Street Fair. If you're anywhere near, stop by, say hello, buy some stuff. I could always use the money. Anyway, goodbye for now.